Oh, morning, Red. No, here, no, here's some coffee. I got it for you. Oh, morning. No. It's so, I don't know. I, I, I didn't know what to make for breakfast. What do you guys want? Man, I'd love some bacon. How about some eggs? Meat, Meat please. please. Breakfast edition. Welcome to the second episode of Meat Please, and on this episode, we're making breakfast with your cooks, Mitch and Riley. So on today's episode of Meat Please, we're going to make two different items. Firstly, we're going to make a fruit salad. As well, we're going to make an egg frittata with a bunch of different healthy vegetables. And bacon. Bacon. And toast toes. Just toast. <laughs> so let's get cooking. We're going to set the oven for 350 degrees. Can you need okay. pan for the bacon, frying pan. We're going to need a Pyrex container. This is going to hold the frittatas when we bake it uh, for 25 minutes. Also, nice big bowl for your little fruit salad there. And I, personally, I like, I like clear bowls because, man, fruit looks tasty. Okay, so Mitch, let's get started. Okay. The first thing that we have to do, which is a thing that's new to me, is wash the vegetables. Okay. So first we're gonna start by washing our hands. <laughs> we're gonna start by cutting up some uh, peppers, both red and orange today. You can choose any type of pepper, but typically the red and orange as well as yellow are the sweetest, which will go well with the saltiness of the bacon and the egg. So Riley's also cutting up some green onion. And I'm not cutting myself. Key thing. We're, we're using about half a pepper of each uh, variety and about oh, did you guys? six um, strands of, or six bunches of onion to make enough frittata for about four to five people. Or uh, uh, five normal people for us guys, because we eat lots. So we're just using the leaf part uh, of the kale. Uh, unfortunately, kale is not here with us. <laughs> but the leafy green part is the best part. It has the most flavor. Uh, and yeah, it'll kale go has well flavor. with... <laughs> it'll also pair well with the eggs. We're using 12 eggs for this recipe. We've decided to use omega-3 eggs. Uh, gives us a little more nutrients. And it was on uh, sale. And it was on sale. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack the eggs into our bowl, uh, add a cup of milk, and then whisk it together. Uh, once again, this will serve four to five people, so plan accordingly. Alrighty. Without getting shallow. Oh, beautiful. Here we go. Right now I'm cutting some cheese. Um, it's more of a flavorful thing. It's not necessary. Most egg recipes do kind of include some cheese though, just because eggs, or it really adds a nice flavor and consistency to the eggs. Um, and when you cook it, it melts in with the eggs, so it's really, it's really in there. I'm measuring one cup of milk, putting it in with the eggs. Okay. Oh, and then the we are going to whisk the eggs as if you were making scrambled or omelets or Or any omelets. eggs that you would whisk. Pouring the eggs into our Pyrex container. There you go. Hold on. Let's and then we're space. going to add our vegetables. So we're putting our veggies into the mix. Kale. That's a lot of kale. <laughs> wow. Kale, you're everywhere. You're in my dreams. In my food. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> you right now? No. And then we're just gonna make sure that everything's covered. The eggs cover everything and it'll bake into a nice solid um, frittata. Mm. You can also use salt no. and pepper in this, um, if you prefer that. And then we're going to put the cheese on top. Cheese. 
<laughs> so we're now putting in the oven, uh, preheated oven for uh, 25 minutes, and we're gonna let it cook. So beautiful. Look like that egg's going swimming. <laughs> <laughs> so while we're cooking this, uh, we're gonna have two things going on. One, uh, or three things going on. One, Mitch is gonna be getting the bacon. Bacon. A sizzle. Two, I'm gonna be cutting out some fruit for the fruit salad. And three, Brostos, otherwise known as Toast Toast, is gonna be cooking up some toast. You're just watching to see if I cut my toast. Uh, so we're cooking the bacon. We've done one round of bacon. It looks gorgeous. Uh, we're just frying it up. Hey, I made it. Fruit what salad's this? looking beautiful. Thank you, Riley. There you go. That looks good, Dan. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually looking good right now. I think it's done. It's beautiful. Um, we have grapes, banana, apple, and orange in. Got well, your citrus, area. which is good for men health. Um, bananas, which they are, I can I, they're also good for men's health. Um, and women's great. health. And, and women's health. Uh, we have here. apples, which keep you away from the doctor, <laughs> and grapes, which are equally delicious. So. It's gonna be good. Um, okay, we're gonna add some flavor to the, to the fruit salad. We're gonna add some apple juice. Great and healthy. So just pour that in there. And there we go, that'll be good. That'll just give it some extra flavor and add to the already really healthy fruit salad we got going on there. <laughs> Looks like this fruit's going swimming. <laughs> Uh, so, we're just finishing up the bacon here, um, it's nice and crispy as well as, you can really cook bacon any way you'd like, uh, just make sure that it's cooked all the way through. Uh, we are cooking it so that it has a little crisp outside as well as a chewy inside. Mm. And we're going to put it on our plate with a little bit of paper towel on it to let the grease uh, be soaked up so that it's a little healthier uh, and we're not getting that bacon grease. So we're going to turn off the oven, take the grease off the heat, Oh, perfect timing, perfect our time. frittata is ready to come out, be checked. Okay, so our timer just went off, so we're going to pull out the frittata. One thing you do, uh, just to test if things are cooked properly with cakes and also frittatas, is that you test it with a fork. So we go in, usually, we already tested it so it was covered, if it comes out with nothing on it, it's a good sign, it means it's a... Uh, Pretty well cooked in this case. It actually cleaned it a little compared to how it was before, so it's good to go. We can eat it now. Doesn't so. that look beautiful? If not, go away. <laughs> <laughs> so we have our frittata, our bacon, and our toast. Toast, toast. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> That's um, me. And the fruit salad's in the fridge. So we're all set for a good meal. Now we're gonna divvy it out, and we're gonna eat up because we are hungry. What do you guys want for breakfast? I want bacon. How about eggs? Meat, please! Breakfast edition! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. Okay. Maybe go to the Ock Rock or something like that? Meat, please! With Toast Toast! <laughs> that was great. Did you hold it up? <laughs>